This is Amanda Cox, your Tech Girl PDX, coming to you with a wonderful tip about how to use radio buttons versus check boxes. Just know that radio buttons are for whenever you are having your client choose one thing or the other, and check boxes are more fluid. They're not mandatory fields like radio buttons are. So let me demonstrate. I'm going to browse um, from my online documents going into my Dropbox account. And I'm going to get a disclosures document, those wonderful disclosures to demonstrate on. I'm going to add myself as the sole recipient so I can send it right to myself and you can see what it looks like. Again, indexing by the address of the property, always, always, always. So you can keep all your stuff straight. And my button I'm going to go to is next. Now it's going to pull our document up and what you're going to see are boxes that traditionally would be checked off, um, filled out, and again, check boxes are used whenever they can check as many things as are applicable and they are not mandatory fields. And we're talking about check boxes, these little guys right here. However, radio buttons force your client to pick one thing or the other. So let's say right here, if these were, if this was um, something where they could pull as many as are applicable, I'm going to grab check boxes. I'm going to pull them over and you see how it's um, encircled in blue? That color lets me know that this is not a mandatory field. My client could, in theory, complete this envelope with ever, without ever addressing this field. So I'm going to come on down. Tracy Seller, this is the role I'll be playing, so I'm just going to pull a signature down and shrink it a little bit. That is a tiny signature spot. Pull my date over. And then I'm going to come on down here. And you see how I have to make a decision, either my seller or I am in or I am not occupying the property. So that's where a radio button comes in. I cannot do both. I have to be one or the other. So I'm going to pull a radio button over. You see again how it's blue. We're going to, oh, there it goes. It's red now. It is mandatory. I'm going to take this and I'm going to drag a box around these two because I want to edit the properties. I'm going to say the recipient is me. Allow them to edit. Yes. Require initial. If anything changes, do I require an initial? Yes. The group, I'm going to make this a new group. And I'm going to say occupied. Occupied is the name of the group. And the big deal is you want your groupings to always have the same name. If you want a series of radio buttons to be um, a range of answers, you may make them the same. The value, a radio button, and OK. Now I'm going to send it. So you can see what this looks like on the receiving end. Come on. The spinning wheel of the document loading there. So I'm going to go and sign. And you see how it let me skip right over? Say I coach my client and I pick one or the other. Confirm signing.